Shalom, 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 what's going on? What's going on, family? Shalom, 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 what's going on, family? I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody's doing good. Come on in, come on in, come on in, come on in. Like, share. Y'all know I don't, I haven't been going live in a while. Um, so, you know, now, now when I go live, you get that notification. Uh, no, it's something that I just want, I want to say or something that I want to, uh, you know, uh, get something to you um, or something I want to get off my chest or something like that. Um, but grace, peace, and many blessings to everybody. Shalom. Um, I don't know what's been going on with Facebook, but they've been automatically, when I go live, automatically taking the comments away. So I, now I know that I have to swipe. Uh, in order for the comments to show up and things like that. But definitely invite, like, share. I'm not going to be on here long. Um, and I, especially I know uh, with the title of what the title of the video is, I'm pretty sure people are going to kind of log in and try to and see what's going on. Um, but shalom to you all. Blessings to you all. I uh, love you all. Uh, I pray that everyone's doing well and everyone's doing great. As you see, I'm here at the at the assembly here at the church and so um i want to say something um and the title of this video and i'm not going to be on long this is not a uh, spiritual teachable moment but this is more so a practical teachable moment that i think that black people uh and yes i use the term black people uh need to hear and need to understand i think this is very important because i'm speaking to all black people um whether you're christian whether you're hebrew uh, whether you are Muslim and this 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 particular conversation that I'm about to have with you is just a, a practical conversation up to black people. OK, listen to me very well. This is a practical. I'm not going into the text. I'm not going to be pulling stuff out. I'm not going to be breaking things down. I'm not going to bring any hermeneutics, didactic. I'm not doing any of that teaching. This is a practical conversation okay for black people this is a practical conversation that i think that i feel that i need to help you black people on okay let white people have their moment and you're like what are you talking about what what are you talking about let me give you an example of what i mean and this is something that just i i had I, I was going to leave i'm here at the church i'm working on doing some things here at the church and I was planning on leaving. I said, you know what? I'm gonna let it ride. But then I, it just kept eating at me. And I said, you know what? Let me let me share something to our people, black people. Okay. I've heard this for the past several weeks. And I just heard it, okay, about five to six minutes ago when I was at Lowe's. And I feel that black people need to allow white people to have their moment. And you say, what are you talking about? This is a practical, I hope this help y'all, okay? This is not the time for you to respond in conversation and be inclusive. What do I mean? What are you talking about? Moray, what are you talking about? Now is not the time. OK, let white people have their moment. Now is not the time. I'm at the store. This again, I've heard this several times. This is the last time and I'm tired of it. I'm tired of hearing it. And I feel that I'm the a, a, an appropriate individual and one who can voice this and people not misunderstand me. OK. There was a, a lady about 75 years old, 75 year old white lady standing in line at Lowe's. She's at the register. She told the black lady, which was probably about in her 40s, she says, um, how you doing? And, and, and she greeted her and she said, hey, you know, everything is going well. And, and they talked. And the white lady that's in her late 70s said to the black lady, she says, I want you to know from the bottom of my heart that black lives matter. She's about 70 something years old. Late 70s, 
So you know she understands she was doing the time of Jim Crow and all this other stuff. She has probably been wanting to say that, but she probably have colleagues and friends where she can't say that. Because, you know, in some circles, when you're of a certain age, you know, certain things you can't say being white around your white friends and all this other stuff. Now is the moment where white people are able to get off their chest, some of them, that they actually care about black people. And she said, from the bottom of my heart, I want you to know. She got close to the black lady and she said, I want you to know that black lives matter. And she gave, the white lady gave the black lady a hug. The white lady didn't, there was no, it wasn't expected or, or, or anticipated. She was there just to ring up something in Lowe's. She was by herself, older lady, late 70s. She's there and she says, listen, I want you to know that black lives matter from the bottom of my heart. She was insincere in her apology or sincere about what was going on. She says it was terrible that that, that, that that black man, that that black man was murdered. This is what the white lady said. That, that black man was murdered. White lady, late 70s. I've heard several white people over the past few weeks say the same thing, that George Floyd was murdered and all this and, that third, and this, that, and the third. And these white people over the course of several days have been saying black lives matter. They have their marching, that they're doing all this, all this other stuff. And you know what was the, what just, just really what just destroyed the moment was when the black lady responded to her, no ma'am, all lives matter. And the white lady simply says, she says, I really want you to know this. She said, she's, the white lady said, no. This is what the white, the white lady said, no. And the black lady said, yes, all lives matter. All lives matter. She says, okay, I understand that. I, the white lady said, I understand that. But then the white lady turned around and she said, she said, no, I want you, but I want you to know. And the lady, black lady, continued as she walked out of the door. She followed the old white lady out the door. Now, mind you, we're at the self-checkout. You know, self-checkout. I'm self-checking out. We're at the self-checkout. I'm standing in line. And when she said, all oh, lives matter and all these other things, I could not even, it couldn't even register to me while I'm at the register. Okay? Self-checkout. It's only three steps on the self-checkout, okay? Three steps. It could not register with me what the next step to do, which the next step was for about a good 60 seconds. It couldn't register to me to put my card, the chip, into the card reader so I can pay for what I was paying for in Lowe's. My, I had a brain freeze. Because of the sister response. The white lady was not even asking her for a response. She voluntarily gave her response, refuting what the older white lady was saying. Now is not the time for black people to respond. Now is time for black people to receive. Receive the apologies, receive all of these things, receive the lady simply said all she was saying. Why don't y'all let white people have a moment? Why don't you just let white people have a moment? You can't do it. You can't do it. It makes no sense. It wouldn't even register with me. It, it drove me mad. I'm five minutes away from the church, and it drove me mad. I could not believe. I couldn't believe the response. And this has been over the course of several weeks where all I've been hearing, white, black people, oh, no, but all lives matter. All lives matter. The white people who are, who, are, who are telling you that black lives matter, 
They are not looking for you to respond. They're looking for you to receive. That's all they're doing. But no, you black folks, y'all got to do it anyway. You don't know when to be quiet and receive something. You don't know when to be quiet and receive something. The, la the lady, these people, white folk, these white folks are not looking for your response. Do, can't you get that? Don't you get that? And, and here's the thing. The, 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 the older white lady who was there who was sincere about her Black Lives Matter got refuted. And, and this is the, here's the part. Here's the part. Okay. Here's the part. Okay. Here's the part where we need to pay attention to. As I'm standing there at the register and it's not processing to me, my back is at the, you know, when you're going through the self-checkout, they have a little desk over there where they can approve something and, 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 or if you have an issue, they have their own little computer. Y'all been to self-checkout. They have their own little, their own little platform over there where they can do their thing. Okay. So she steps to the side, which it's on the right side, which means I'm on the left side. My back is to her. I can feel, I can feel the negative energy coming from the sister, standing behind me, okay? Now, here's the thing. I want y'all to pay attention to this. Me and the white lady walk up to the register. At the same time, she's on hers, I'm on mine. I did not get a greeting. Let me tell you about our folks. Let me tell you about our folks. I didn't get a greeting. I didn't get a hey, how you doing? I didn't get any of it. I didn't get none of that. She immediately goes to the white lady. The white lady simply tells her, How you doing? Greets her. She doesn't need any help, but she stands there, has a conversation with her. And before she walks out, the white lady tells her that I just want you to know that Black Lives Matter. She goes through her spiel, refuting the white lady. No, 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 no. All lives matter. Not just black people, but all lives matter. And the lady, the older white lady, bless her heart, she continues to tell her for at least three or four times that black lives matter. And guess what? She continues to refute her all the way till she walks almost out the door where the security alarm uh, 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 poles are. And then as she walks back, I can feel the negative energy with her on the back. So you know what I simply did? She thought, she thought in her mind that I guess that she thought that I was going to respond or say something to her. No, I didn't. You know what I did? I absolutely stood at the register, scanned out, got my stuff out, and I looked at her and I told her, have a nice day. And you know what she did? She stood there on the phone and when she looked at me and she said, have a nice day, she gave me a fake smile and said, you too. This is the foolishness I'm talking about. But black folk can't let white folks have their moment. Let them, let them, let them have their moment. Them moment. If they want to apologize to you, let them apologize. They're not looking for no response. Have, these folks are not looking for a response. That, that older white lady in her late 70s did not have to say that out of her mouth. But guess what? Here's a moment for her because I'm pretty sure she probably, probably wouldn't have said that. I'm not, I'm not saying she wouldn't, but I'm just saying most people of that age, okay, back then, dealing with, they probably wouldn't have said that. But now here's a time where, where, where white folks have, have been, had, had some type of sentimental value for black people. And now here's their moment and their shot where they can simply say how they feel because they probably couldn't say how they felt amongst their other white friends who probably have racist tendencies. Now they have other friends, their other friends who have those tendencies and they don't. Now it's a moment in time where they can actually say it and still keep a relationship. And you want to rob their moment. Now's the time where they can say, say, say it and still keep their white friends relationship because of the climate of which the time in which we in. But no, y'all don't want to let them have that moment. The 
this is not a, let me tell y'all something. I'm going to tell you, let me tell y'all something. We don't have to throw Bible on this, okay? Everything does not require you to quote a scripture. This is a practical situation. This is a practical thing. This does not require spiritual education. And some of you are throwing things that throwing things Spiritually at something that need practical, that need a practical beatdown. It's the same thing. It's the thing. It's what it is. There's no different then. We always want to throw something spiritual at something when somebody may have a chemical imbalance. Some folks may have a chemical imbalance and you're trying to pray something away that all they need, okay, all they need is a little help getting their chemicals balanced. But y'all want to do it. That's what I'm telling you. This now is not the time for that. Something you need to sit folks down and have a practical conversation about. You need to have a practical conversation. You need to have a practical conversation. Everything's not spiritual. Everything's not spiritual, huh? It's not a spiritual problem to pay your bills on time. And some of y'all got that problem. It's not a spiritual problem, okay, to get life insurance. Some of y'all got that problem. It's not a spiritual problem when you leave in debt to your children. Some of y'all got that problem. Everything is not a spiritual problem. Some things are practical. And this is the problem. This is the problem. This is not, this is a, this is the problem. If the folk, if they want to come to you and apologize, let them. Let them. Let them. This is why we behind, because we don't know the difference between spirit and practical. This is what I'm saying. I don't have no time for no foolishness, okay? Block that brother. I don't even know who he is, but I don't have no time for no foolishness, okay? This is the issue. And these things need to be addressed. He probably came in late anyway. So that's all I want to say, y'all. That's all I want to say. That's all I wanted to say. If somebody come, you know what? You know what? All lives matter. All lives matter. If that brother had been on here from the beginning, he would have understood the, stood the context of the conversation. But he came in late. And now, again, once again, once again, Israel, because he, he has his name Israel, so I'm addressing him as an Israelite. Once again, Israel is not practicing what they preach. Here in the whole conclusion of the matter, which is a favorite scripture, we love to quote. We love to quote, here the conclusion of the matter. Here the conclusion, here until the end. You got to hear the whole conclusion of the matter. That brother jumped right in the, in the middle of it, didn't hear the whole conclusion of the matter, because if he, he, if he did, he wouldn't be questioning or asking or saying, making the statements that he said. Because the subject of this conversation is, let them have their moment. You don't need to respond, all lives matter. Because they're telling you what the subject of their conversation is. They're telling you what they want to say. So this don't make no sense. And this always happened, Israel. It happens every single time. This is a practical problem. All right? So just wanted to talk to y'all, man. Shalom to everybody. Grace, peace, and many blessings to you all. If you're just not jumping in, go back to the beginning and hear the context of what I'm talking about. Because this is very important to understand what I'm actually saying. That woman had no business standing in line when that white woman said what she said. She had no business because she was not looking for a response from her. All she was making a statement. 
she was making a statement. And her statement was, Black Lives Matter. But that sister, she couldn't handle it. She had to shoot it down and refute her. And the white lady, the older white lady, was not looking for a response. All she was letting her know is, hey, listen, in whatever way I can, I am, I am being sympathetic to the plight of what's going on with black people in America. That's all that white lady was saying. But the black lady could not stand around and stand for her to sympathize. Even though she cannot, she's, she'll never experience what it's like to be black, but she was at least acknowledging what was going on, was wrong that was happening to black people, and the black woman in Lowe's had to tell her, you're wrong. All lives matter. We understand, we understand the context of that, but her moment, and which many white people that are today, they're simply saying, listen, we're trying, we are standing with you on the subject of the matter. We don't need a response from you. We're showing you by being out there with you. We're not looking for a response. And that's the thing. And I pray that you Hebrews learn the difference between practical and spiritual and stop trying to throw everything at a problem that requires a practical understanding. Again, it's not a spiritual problem when you don't have life insurance. Again, it's not a spiritual problem when you don't have health insurance. Again, it's not a spiritual problem, okay, when you make bad decisions. Some things require you to make practical decisions. It's not a spiritual problem when you buy stuff and you don't have money for it. This is what I'm saying. This is our problem. And then we go blaming everybody else for a lot of the problems that we have because we're making bad, practical decisions. And I end on that. Grace, peace, and many blessings to all of you. I love you and shalom.